What's up guys, it's your boy, Barca boy, 103, just finished watching the match and Barcelona beat Real Sociedad 2-0, regaining second place back in La Liga. Excuse the setting, excuse my hair by the way, it does not look this bad, I don't know why the camera makes it look like I have some sort of fake mohawk. Nonetheless though, at work, just finished watching the game as well, low key, do not tell anyone, but... We got the result, that was the most important thing, we'll talk about the game. Firstly, the lineup for the match is on the screen right now. It was Ter Stegen in goal, a back four of Kunde, Inigo, Kubar, Sejuo, Cancelo. Midfield three of Christensen, Gundogan, and Pedri. Front three of Levan Yamal, Lewandowski, and Rafinha. Only surprise is Inigo starting ahead of Arujo. Arujo had some discomfort. Chavez decided not to take any risk. Fair enough to it, have no complaints. Of course, it was Kubarzi playing on the right, being right-footed. Inigo on the left, being the left-footed center back. I felt like we started off the game very, very slowly. So that had some moments in behind this quarter goal that was offside. I felt we were kind of sloppy um, as well with Christensen giving the ball away a lot in the uh, midfield. We kind of went in it back as well. It wasn't, you know, it felt like there's a lot of pressure on the players, which of course there should be. And um, you could tell that a bit in their performance. Then we picked up a lot afterwards. We made some good combination plays. We're progressing forward. I think honestly, apart from the Bryas Mendes chance in the second half, the goal that was offside, I don't think Sociedad had too, too many opportunities. And again, those are all coming in from our mistakes as well. So I think it was a very, very professional performance from the team today. I don't think we played champagne, chavi ball in full effect, but it was, you know, more so of a conservative performance. The goal that Lemanyama scored, by the way, was absolutely sublime. The, firstly, the hold-up play from Lewandowski, brilliant. Finds the Gundu one out wide on the left. One-time cross into Lemanyama. The one-time finish from Lemanyama, disgusting of course the second goal was the last second penalty which i thought was, i thought the other one the Fermin one was more of a handball than the uh, than the uh other zola one but i will absolutely take it um second half we created a lot of chances you know making uh, some moves again it was all kind of you know the the faces of play were in the middle and then Barcelona's attacking third. There's not really much else going defensive-wise. That high line the first 10 minutes was super, super suspect as well. I don't know why Chavi was playing a high line with Kubarsi and Inigo. With not, no Arujo being there, you have no recovery pace, even though Kubarsi and Inigo are not really the slowest. But you need to have that kind of recovery pace. You need to have someone who can, you know, track back and make those darring, darring tackles as well. So playing that high line was a bit questionable from Chavi, alongside substitutions as well. We'll talk about that later on. But... I want to highlight some key performances here. Firstly, Lemen Yamal, madre mia, jode, absolutely brilliant from him yet again. Second one, Rafinha on the left again in this kind of number 10 position where that's not really his natural role and he's putting in great performances. Hit the post, I think, twice. Had a great save as well from Alex Ramiro. Deserved a goal and got the goal in the end. I'm so happy he took the penalty as well. I thought maybe Ferran Torres was going to take it or something like that. Thirdly, Pedri. If this motherfucker could not just, if, this, if he could just stay fit, like that's all, I'm not asking for much. Just stay fit. You can see a fully fit Pedri, how good he is. His influence on the team, his impact on the pitch is second to none. But this guy just, just cannot stay fit to save his life. I thought Cancelo, absolutely shocking again. This man, his stock is depreciating. It's very, very at an alarming rate. I mean, my goodness gracious. I think Inigo Kobarsi did okay, except for that kind of first 15 minutes. Um, Kunde, uh, I think he was in you know, his average good uh, good self. Terzeg with a clean sheet, so shout out to him. I don't think he really had to be called upon too, too much. I was a bit worried about that free kick, but uh, he made a comfortable save there. Christensen, again, first 10 minutes. Miss Loppy got chopped off again at the hour mark, which is a bit weird in my opinion. Pedri coming off of the hour mark, of course, made sense. Ilkai Effin Gunduan. This man is looking more like a bargain every single passing day. I mean, it's just ridiculous what he does on the bench. The yellow card I thought was a bit undeserved as well. It looked like he pulled out of that head challenge, but he did connect in the end, so that made sense. Lewandowski didn't really have that many opportunities at goal today. Again, the players weren't really finding him in the boss, whether it was the crossing or the cutbacks or the passes. His hold-up play was very good. Of course, his hold-up play built up the, for the first goal as well, but I think his overall game wasn't too bad today. So you think we're looking at a lot of, you know, 7s out of 10, couple of 6s, give Cancelo a 4, and that basically sums up the performance today. I mean, especially with the season, you know, being dead, us pushing for second place, which again, big boost for us. Now we're back in second place, back in our hands. That Jordan game now looks like it meant absolutely nothing, but 
As a Barca fan, you're really going through the motion. We got three games left now. We have, uh, I think, Vallecano. No, we have El Maria on Thursday. Vallecano on the weekend, last home game. And then Ramon Sanchez, piece one in the final weekend of May. Uh, that's going to end off our season. So three more uh, big games left to really secure second place. Maybe Jordan drop points. We can secure it um, even earlier. In terms of substitutions, I think Fermin came on and looked great again. And really, I understand why he didn't start this game, but I think it's very undeserved for him. He's been playing very, very well. Uh, who else came on? Roberto came in. I mean, yeah. I think Romeo came in. Yeah. Fernando Torres came in. I mean, he was, yeah. But he should have scored that first chance that he hit on the volley. I'm surprised he didn't even put that on target, at least. I think he put that just wide. Um, of course, the big question is no Victor Roque in this game again, yo, man. I have. <laughs> I've defended Chavi in the club about the Victor Roque deal, but I mean. Some things are gonna have big question about about his deal. Of course, we'll talk about that in tomorrow's news video. Stay tuned for that. We're covering all the updates uh, about Victor Roque, Ter Stegen sale, Chavi Simon. So stay tuned for that big video uh, tomorrow. But on the performance, we take it. It is what it is. There's nothing really to report on it. I'm actually curious to see some of the quotes coming out after the game from the uh, players and the manager as well. Uh, after Ludowski, uh, this is Lemon Yamal saying, after the match, Ludowski and I commented on some plays that we found funny. We have a great relationship in the dressing room. Yeah, Ludowski ain't, ain't going in the summer. If you think like, Ludowski is going, you're, you're crazy. By the way, shout out uh, Rafinha for his celebration as well. I think he's playing for his local uh, city in Brazil that are suffering through floods. So, sending all my uh, pr uh, prayers uh, there. But uh, yeah, nothing really coming out after the game. It was a very important game to regain second place. This is coming from Lemon Yamal. Uh, we got nine points left. Uh, and we gotta go and uh, get them. Yeah, okay. Uh, makes sense. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's been quite like a dull day. There was some chance, by the way, about Laporte to see, uh, I mean, Barca to see Laporte know in the stadium. I mean, you can just ignore that. Don't let that get to your head because, you know, we saw that, you know, back in the summer with the economic levers. It was like, Laporte to see, Laporte no, Barca to see. And then look what he did. Oh, Mambo Jumbo again. Those are the those are the press that are Tony. Those are the press that are voting for Tony Freya and Victor Fons. Let them be what they want to be. A lot of chance about uh, Chavi in the game, which I heard. Uh, a lot of the fans chanting uh, Chavi Hernandez's name, which I think is very very good um, as well. Uh, the many miles in the first minutes were tough, but when we got into the match and played well, I fully agree with that. And that first 10 15 minutes was uh, very very poor from Barcelona. So quite afraid we were gonna bottle this game. If I'm being uh, completely honest. Um, I guess nothing really much to add. Again, it was very, with the season being dead, I really have no real analysis, no real, like, incentive to really give you an in-depth thought of this game. It was pretty much what we've been seeing a lot this season, uh, especially since Chavi resigned. Those kind of, yo, I cannot get over this hair. Why is it, like, so slight? Anyway, it's a very much, you know, a professional performance from, you know, the Barcelona point of view. It was very simple. Go out there, get the win. We did so, in, you know, a professional way. We didn't give away too many chances. We kept it very conservative as well, especially in the middle of the park. There was no real risk uh, being taken, which, again, we were in a position where we shouldn't be taking uh, risk with our form as well. But overall, uh, I'm happy. We got the win. Now we got to focus on uh, uh, Al Maria on Thursday, Vallecano, Sevilla. Hopefully, Jordan up drop points early so we can secure second place. To rate the manager today on Chavi, probably give him a 7 out of 10. You know, three points, clean sheet. Uh, made some uh, good, uh, you know, okay subs. I think he only used four out of five, which again is a bit. Whoa, 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 one second. He brought on double for Roberto, for Min, Fanan, Romeo. Did, he, did Felix come into the game? I don't think. I remember seeing that Felix was warming up, but I don't think he came into the game. Unless I'm just absolutely waffling, and he did. And if he did, then I did not see him. Yeah, he didn't. Okay. Um, I think the only thing about Chavi today is really about not, you know, bringing on Victor Roque, which I think is <laughs> wild. I have no idea what's going on. This is definitely some sort of an internal. And again, I'll talk about it in tomorrow's. Uh, there's something definitely going on there. But overall, very, very happy. Of course, in the comments down below, let me your thoughts on the match, your player ratings, your thoughts on Chavi's decision making, and also his performance from the manager point of view as well. And of course, make sure you guys subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time on the channel tomorrow for a transfer video. Take care and Forza Barca. <laughs>